It's getting hot in here. I need to take off this long sleeves. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey guys, what is up? What's good? It's your girl Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, what I'm going to be doing is sharing with you guys this makeup look on this really fresh, radiant, dewy, glowing from within makeup toot with no false lashes. Rocking all natural lashes today. Who, who am I? I really know. If we're being honest, despite not even wearing lashes, this is probably my favorite makeup look I have ever filmed on my channel. I don't know what it is. I'm just living for warm tones paired together like this. I just went a little bit crazy. I feel like the bold poppy lip really brings the summer into this makeup look. So if you guys like me and you guys like my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I upload two new videos every week twice a week and you guys don't want to miss out on that. May even be uploading a bonus video this week. So uh, be on the lookout for that. And without further ado, we're gonna get into it. At this point in time, my skin, do you see this? That monster that was there like last week, totally flat. My lips are still crusty though. Aquaphor. I'm just gonna clip my bang out of my face so that way we can get down to business. Oh, that was ugly. That was really ugly. Is that okay? Is that better? Are we, are we, are we doing something here? Am I still ugly? Probably. Holy crap, your girl's sitting really close to the camera. You guys know I read your comments, I listen to you guys. You guys wanted me to sit a little bit closer, bring you guys in so you can see all of my blending and stuff. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Today we are gonna focus on matte eyes and very dewy, glowy skin for the summer. I may do a bolt lip. Bolt lip? Will I? I don't know, I may do a nude lip, bolt lip, we'll see when we get to the end. But first and foremost, I will be priming my eyes and I'm just gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer from the drugstore. I wanna say this is like three bucks and I am going to be using the shade Light Medium. Honestly, I feel like using a concealer to prime the eyelids works just as good as using an eyeshadow base. So don't fret, if you don't have an eyeshadow base, you good, just use your concealer. Now that we've primed our eyes with that concealer, it's time to go in with some shadows. I will be using this guy. This is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. Now, this is my first time using it on my channel, but this is what the color range looks like. It has a bunch of really pretty warm tones. A lot of you guys were asking me if this was comparable to the Naked Heat Palette, and I would say definitely not. This is a little bit more red, whereas Naked Heat is a little bit more on the burnt orange sienna side. So the first color I'm going Going to take is this color right here called tempura and I'm gonna take it on the Anastasia brush that comes with the palette and I'm just going to use this to set my crease and above I'm not going to put this color on my lid The next shadow I'm gonna go in with is this one right here called Burnt Orange, which is a really pretty warm tone brown. And I'm gonna take it on my Morphe M501 and I'm just going to rock this into my crease as my transition color, going in big circular motions. My lights were a little bright. Ah. Using my Sigma E25 tapered blending brush, I am just going to place this all over my lid and I'm really just going to deepen up that crease by just wiping my brush back and forth. What I really love about these shadows in general is that they're extremely buildable. They're super buttery, so they just glide on the eye so nicely and they blend so well too. To really just define out that socket, I like to place my brush in the socket of my eye and then look up and then just drag my brush back and forth. I'm going to build up the outer portion of my eyelid with a shade called Real Gur in the palette. And I'm gonna take that on a tapered uh, Morphe M433. And as you can see, I'm just building it up right here and I'm just going and packing motions. Once I get to my crease, I'm going to open my eye, just wiggle my brush in there. I probably applied a lip balm like 50 million times in this video. Now taking the shade called Tempura again in the palette, I'm just going to pop this right here on my brow bone. Boom shakalaka boom. 
taking a wipey. Fun fact, these are actually baby wipes, but they do wonders. So I'm going to clean up right here, like these. I'm just going to tight line my upper lash line with a little bit of my L'Oreal Silkissimi eyeliner. Now that tight lining's done, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, which is very much comparable to Too Faced Better Than Sex. So if you haven't picked this up, I definitely recommend you go to your local drugstore and snag this because they're selling like hotcakes. I went into Walmart and the entire display was like sold out. I was like, what in the world is going on? But I'm just going to coat my lashes with this. So I wasn't able to show you guys how amazing this mascara is in my last video because I had a thick trace of black liner smudged out on my upper lash line. So here you go. This is my lash with a mascara and this one is without mascara. What you think? So you guys, this is what my lashes are looking like after a few coats of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I told y'all it was bomb. Um, I'm probably gonna not do lashes today, but we'll see. We'll see how everything looks all together at the end. So the next thing I'm gonna do is work on the skin. Finally, finally. To get my skin nice and prepped before foundation, I will be going in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. Gonna take some of this onto my fingers and then I'm just going to work it into my skin. This is going to give me a really nice iridescent, flawless, glowy, dewy looking glow. Do you guys see that? Instantly like transforms your skin. Oh my God, I forgot how much I love this. Mm. I'm also gonna take a little bit of my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Priter, Priter? Primer, and I'm gonna take a little bit on to my fingers, so like about that much, and I'm going to pop it right up in this area. Now that I've given that time to set into my skin, I'm gonna apply the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I am in the shade 208. I love this foundation because it's super natural. It doesn't really look like you're wearing a ton of foundation. Like look how radiant my skin looks after applying the Becca Backlit Primer. Looks super healthy, super glowy. Ooh, love. So I'm gonna mix two concealers by Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus concealer I use on my eyelids to prime. I'm gonna mix in light ivory and light medium. So I'm gonna take light ivory right here. Then I'm gonna take light medium and apply it right here. So I'm gonna take some of that concealer and I'm just going to clean up this edge right here. So that way it's nice and you know what I mean, jelly bean. Then with my beauty blender, I'm going to blend this out. After applying under eye concealer, you guys know you wanna go in and immediately set your under eyes. So I'm gonna be using the Manicadar Dual Powder in C2 on a Real Techniques Miracle Sponge, a little mini one. And I'm gonna make sure I coat the tip of this because I'm just going to press it right there. And as you can see, I am not baking today just because like I said, my skin has been on the dry side and I'm just putting this powder underneath my eyes. Also gonna take this down the sides of my nose. I am just gonna finish off my lower lash line with a little bit of the shade Railgar on a flat definer brush by Sigma. To smoke out my lower lash line, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the shade called Burnt Orange and on a pencil brush, I'm just going to smudge out my lower lash line. Then going in with a nude liner, this one is by Estee Edit. It needs to be sharpened. There we go. Estee Edit. This is a nude liner. Now, Rimmel has a really awesome, affordable nude liner if you guys don't have this one. This one isn't my favorite, so I definitely recommend picking up the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Nude Liner to tight line in your waterline. Tight line in your waterline. To line your waterline. 
That's a lot. Not my favorite. Now, before I add lower lash mascara, I'm just going to spray my face with a little bit of the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray because I really want to melt that under eye powder into my skin. Very, very nice. Now I'm gonna hit my lower lashes with a little bit of Lash Paradise. Before I powder down my face just a tad bit, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the Shimmering Skin Perfector by Becca. I'm gonna apply some to the back of my hand and then I'm gonna take a damp sponge, pounce it on the back and then use it to highlight right here. Now it's important to note that if you set your makeup and then try to do this, it's probably not gonna work. Anytime you work with creams, you wanna apply your creams before powder. Now don't worry, we are gonna set some areas of our face so it's not gonna look greasy, it's gonna look very luminous and dewy. Mm. To really amplify that glow, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Master Crow Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold on a Morphe M510. I'm gonna blind them. Also gonna take that highlighter and pop it right here in the very inner corner. This is just going to draw light to the eyes. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 230. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to roll it into my powder like this. And I'm going to use this to set my forehead. Like so. And I'm just dabbing it. Dab, dab, dab. So as you can see, my forehead isn't as shiny. I'm also going to take this on my chin, around my mouth, sides of my nose, a little bit on my nose, under that highlight. This is honestly my favorite way to apply powder to my face because the Damp Beauty Blender really just melts it into the skin, giving it more of a natural, seamless look. Doesn't look powdery or anything. Next up, we have bronzer. In one of last week's videos, I did test out the Cheek Parade palette, and let me tell you, obsessed, fell in love with it. I absolutely love Hoola Light, so I'm gonna go right back into Hula Light right here. And this is gonna go on the Morphe M527. And I'm just going to use this to really bronze up the skin. Like, look how pretty that is. I really like to use Hula Light and big circular motions to bronze. And it acts as a base, so that way when I go in and contour to really cut my cheekbones, everything just looks very nice, blended and seamless, as opposed to it just being a stark, harsh line. So it's just like eyeshadows, you kind of want to build up the color and layer. I'm gonna go in with a Sigma Soft Angled Contouring Brush. This is their F23. One of my all time favorite brushes to just like cut my cheeks. So I'm going to dip this into Hula. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place it right here. So I'm gonna suck in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna place it right here, drag down, and then blend upwards. You always want to blend upwards, not downwards, because then it will look muddy and it will not be cute. I'm just gonna go right back into my highlighter by Maybelline and pop it right here on the tip of my nose. Okay, a little crazy. I do wanna pop a little bit of blush onto my cheeks, so I'm gonna take California on this little uh, dual end of brush by Luxie. This is the 181, which I'm pretty sure is not for blush, but I just want to put a little bit of it on the apples of my cheeks. So about that much, nothing too crazy. You know what, I think I'm just gonna switch it up completely. I'm gonna go in with this. This is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Kiss of Fire. And yeah, this is the makeup look. What do you think? Do you like it? Do I need to get close? Do you need to see like all of my pores? I'm living for it. Hopefully you guys are living for it as well. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the comments down below and smash that like button so that way I know you guys like beauty videos, tutorials, I don't know, just 
just smash the like button. And I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces. wet back here. <gasps> I still got the tag on. I still got the tag on. <gasps>